deep in the Pyrenees, we rode incredible mountain passes. We found abandoned refuges. We went past ski resorts. Cows blocked our way. We wrote more amazing passes. I got attacked by some sticky stuff. Good morning, lovely people, and welcome back. If you've seen the previous episode, you'll know that we took the smuggler's track out of Andorra and down into Spain. And then as we rode along the valley, the weather started to heat up a little bit. Steph and I stopped as soon as we got on the next trail, got rid of a few layers, and we're ready to set off again. Definitely good to shed a few layers. Oh my gosh, I feel so much more comfortable yeah. now. Yeah, because I feel like I might be working quite hard at certain points yeah, on this track, maybe. quite possibly. Notice there's a good elevation change. Yeah. I think we're going to get some good views. Ooh, yeah, that's for damn sure. Took my eyes off the line, is uh, looking, uh, looking at, at the building. The Maybe an old abandoned church? Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh, hello. Cheeky little rock knocked me off line. Ooh. Okay, maybe we should concentrate. Yeah, we need. Uh, yeah, we need to stop looking at the views. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they're lovely. Yeah, but I don't want to be part of the view. <laughs> That's a fair call. Changed from yes. jagged yeah. and, and yeah. rugged to more rounded. And yeah, very much. And sort of mellow. Look at the one as you go around that corner directly ahead. Oh. That's quite high. Wow. Yeah, it feels like a. Di yeah, like a almost a different country. Yeah, very different much. set of mountains. Yeah. Where the f have you been? I just stopped briefly. <laughs> what on earth? I have no idea. I don't know where I've been. Yes, <laughs> sticky little suckers. <laughs> well, once I'd got rid of the random sticky things, off we went again. And the trail was starting to switch back up the side of the mountain. And we started to gain elevation quite quickly. And we realised that we were probably in ski resort territory. But more of that to come soon. What are we climbing 1700 to? and we're going to reach about 2300. Okay. So, still on the same track, climbing up. It's gone a bit more woodland, which is a nice bit of shade. Oh, still got a way to go on this track, though. 
still up, up, up we go. Yep. Come a long way though. Do you remember what I said we started at? No, I can't. 800 meters. Did we? Well, yeah. Least, wow. Uh, no. From the, I think it was from. Like from the valley. The, yes. Yeah. Yeah. When we knew, when we came off the main road, I said, oh, yeah. right, 800 meters. What are we currently showing? 2,000. Nice line, Simon. <laughs> Not a nice line. Not ever. a nice line. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> dreadful. Off. I'm slightly sick of leading this far forward. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to be for a while, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, that would be quite incredible. I wonder if I can point it out on the camera. Probably. Yeah, I think we will end up over there. No, I can't tell. There's a building and it's kind of, yeah, it's in the distance on the side of the mountain and it's There's just nothing, <laughs> nothing around. We haven't seen anything on these tracks either. I hope we do. I'm going to retreat to what it is. Yeah. Horses down there as well. Oh it's yeah. A, it's all a little bit sound of music. <laughs> right, should we crack on? Go do it, Gorge. Okay. I'll follow at a distance, but dust. Yeah. I think we might contour for quite a bit now before we climb again for the last stage. Oh, amazing. And uh, this is awesome. This trail just kept going. It kept climbing higher and higher. It felt incredibly remote and the views were just stunning. I love that the horses here wear cowbells. I didn't know that. I know. <laughs> Horse bells. Horse bells. And I think around this corner we've got the ever present mountain cows. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god. They're cute little ones. Yeah. Hello. Hello, little ones. I'm running out of superlatives for these uh, Yeah. <laughs> I think this might be best track so far, apart from the BW. Yeah, I think you might be right. Hi, ladies. Hi, ladies. Ah, oh, we are going to that building. There it is. Yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. we are. Yeah. We'll find out what it is. Yeah. Have you seen? They've made little yeah, cow little tracks. tracks. That's very oh, clever. Yeah, very clever. I mean, they would, right? Because yeah, it's a bit sneaky otherwise. otherwise. <laughs> I completely doesn't give a monkey's. Nope. <laughs> right, let's go find out what this building is. I mean, it's quite an impressive building. Yeah, it is. To find it all the way up here. I think it's abandoned. There's uh, oh, it is abandoned. Lots yeah. of roof tiles missing. Yeah. 
It turns out that it was an old abandoned refuge, is what we think. It had fireplace in there and all sorts. It was quite cool, but uh, completely abandoned. While we were there, we noticed that the weather had just started closing in on the mountain tops, and we knew we had a fair distance to go, so we thought we'd better push on. Oh, yes, we're at a ski resort. Wow. Once we reached the top of the trail and back onto tarmac, it turned out we were in the middle of a fairly big ski resort. At this time of year, obviously, it was deserted, there was nobody around, nothing was running, but that kind of made it even more fun to ride through. And once we'd ridden through the ski resort, it was back out the other side onto a track again. Came around the corner to this, <laughs> and... Uh, UK, take note. What a genius idea. Push through it. Just push through. Here she comes. Here she comes. Why don't the cows just push through it? <laughs> yeah, that's a valid point. Yeah, I feel that gate wouldn't outsmart UK sheep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a bit of a weird get. It's not really. Yeah, it's no, it's a valid point. At first, I thought it was genius. Now I think but it's a now bit weird. It's very, very stupid, in fact. Right. Shall I continue, eh? Let's do it. Yeah, definitely my favourite so far. Yeah, that track that we've just done with the. So we're, coming, we're basically coming off the mountain now and we're heading back down to the main road. It's quarter past one, and incredibly, that was only the second track of the day. But they're so long. Uh, it had everything. It had quite a tricky, complex climb. It had abandoned, uh, abandoned refuges, cows, abandoned horses. Refuges. <laughs> yeah, cows and horses. And as we continued our descent off the mountain, we got back onto the roads. So, quarter past one, so we're going to uh, uh, try and find us a place to have a coffee. Right, hopefully a coffee shop in our near future. Ooh, fingers crossed. This is what I'm talking about. And only 10 or 15 minutes later we found a pretty little town and what looked like a really lovely bar with outside seating, served some food and even a little river running by it. This was just a random place that we came across and check out Steph's happy face. There's a lot of good food here. <laughs> They've got absolutely everything tapas crepes uh fondue good uh, good spot for a spot of lunch i got a new mate well i called him a mate i have a sneaking suspicion he was a bit more interested in the food than me oh, i am you know when you've eaten too much <laughs> <laughs> quite a lot of road section now and it is linking up into heading back into the mountains and then we've got what looks to be quite a long mountain trail plenty of switchbacks and then we come back off the mountains and we're uh, we're into where we're staying for the evening so fingers crossed don't the weather but oh. so far it's looking good yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I definitely felt rain, but it doesn't look too dark. No. I say truck on. <laughs> truck on. Uh, excuse me, I'm definitely feeling big fat rain helps. Yeah. Truck on. Truck on. Oh yeah. Right, lovely people. Disconnecting the uh, microphone leads and stuff because uh, getting a bit, uh, a bit damp for them. So we'll see you on the other side of the rain, shall we?
sleepy, we're a little bit bedraggled. Okay, quick update. As you can see, it's still raining, but it's definitely getting better. It's not as dark as it was, and the winds have eased down slightly. So we're on the last, uh, last track of the day, and we were going to give it a quick look and decide if we were going to do it. It's about 7 k's long, but I think... It started out really, really straightforward. Yeah. It's just a gravel track. Yeah, so I think we'll um, we'll crack on and uh, give it a go. We're not far now from the hotel. Hotel, I've got wet hands and wet gloves. How cool is this? A rainbow in the valley. Right, since we stopped to give you an update, we're just setting off now. And actually, the rain has eased right off. There's even a little bit of sun. <laughs> I mean, Cows do love a trap. <laughs> they don't move, do they? Well, let's hope they don't. I'd rather they didn't move than yeah. they did. Oh, seriously, ladies? <laughs> I mean, how? There isn't even a way off-road around them. No. They're big girls. They are big Sorry, girls. not being rude, but, you know. I mean... Do you mind? And then once the cows graciously led us past, we were off again. Yeah, this is just glorious. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that was a small break. We are about to go back into an absolute horror show. Let's do it. What do you reckon to this track? Is the last track of the day? Oh, this is a really good track. For the conditions as well, this is turned out really well. Yeah. I don't think we could have had a better one to finish on. No, definitely. Lovely, fast, flowing track. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to seem a bit weird, but it feels almost like Scottish. Yeah, like Scottish Highlands. Highlands. Yeah. yeah, which is definitely no bad thing. Oh, Scottish Highlands are incredible. If only we could do this kind of riding around yeah, the Scottish Highlands. Exactly. Hello down there. How's it going up there? A bit breezy? It's a bit breezy up here, I'm not going to lie. I'm doing pretty good because right now we're not quite so wet. And actually, the longer we take on this trap, maybe the drier the Ella will be. Yeah. That's my hope. I don't know if it's a vain hope. I'm on a scale of wetness, I'm sitting at mildly moist. <laughs> well, lovely people, that's us. Almost complete the end trail. I think we uh, we're just coming off the mountain now. We're almost in the valley, and I suspect this road will turn into sorry. This track will turn into a road very soon. So we thought we'd take the opportunity to say goodbye from this uh, this beautiful spot here. Uh, we went from Andorra to oh, Steph Viella. We're staying in Viella, yeah. Viella, yeah, Viella. So we're going to call it quits here, and we'll say goodbye. If you have enjoyed it it would be fantastic if you could give us a, yeah, a thumbs up and feel free to share the video and subscribe obviously for the next uh, episode but for now in these beautiful surroundings we'll uh, we'll say goodbye so bye bye for the end screen crew 
we thought this was going to be a really dull road to the hotel, but I mean, look at the scenery.